As you can see, there's steam rising off of it. I'm staying far back away. But there's our concentrated sulfuric acid solution. Just finished after 24 hours of treating sugar soaked matrix opal. So, time to dump it. Don't breathe the fumes in. Let the steam clear a little bit. Go ahead and add some more water to that solution. Dumping off our solution, keeping our face and everything away from it. Not breathing in any of the fumes. Even if you had a painter's mask, it's not really going to stop these vapors. But you would need something that is, you know, an actual gas mask to stop gas. But we're all good. Continue trying to not lose any of our opals, but pour off some of our solution. Now we're going to add a little bit of water to this. Just a little bit. Turn your flow down. Yeah, just do a trickle. There you go. We don't want to shock the opals. You can see we've got some really beautiful treatment that took place. A lot of pieces treated very well, some not so much, but... Go ahead and add some more water to this. Okay. And now this is dilute sulfuric acid. And now we're pouring the opal into our sodium bicarb solution. Let it fizz, let it do what it needs to do. And of course we are wearing full on chemical gloves. The, that sulfuric acid does splash in this situation. We wouldn't want to expose ourselves to any splashing. But as you can see, it's steaming, neutralizing all that. And we're going to neutralize everything with some sodium bicarbonate, also known as baking soda. So what you could do to turn this into sodium carbonate is bacon in the oven and then you turn it from sodium bicarbonate to sodium carbonate if you ever needed that for a reaction. But you just wanna make sure there's no hazard. Go ahead and flip it over. And just sprinkle that all over it to neutralize any potential acids. And then we'll go ahead and just rinse it all off with a good proper heavy dose of water. Now you're safe to handle it again. 
as you can tell the solution is still fizzing quite a bit so there is some acid present for sure my gloves on and then we're going to safely dump this into our waste acid solution okay and then let's go ahead and add some bicarb to that heavy dose be afraid and then we're gonna fill it back up with water to dilute the solution again and also mix up that bicarb so that it actually dissolves into our solution and makes a greater pH and then this solution currently it's about diluted to 1% sulfuric acid so we're gonna neutralize it a little more and then fill it up a bit more and then we'll, we, it will be dispersed into the sewer safely.